Listen, I, I think short of a, of a vaccine that comes online in the summertime and is able to sort of wipe out this pandemic, uh, we're going to see a mixed opening in the fall and likely for the full school year. So when I say mixed, I mean there, there aren't many scenarios right now that we're looking at where we think all of our students in our K-12 are going to be in their classrooms like they were this school year. All of our scenarios assume far fewer students in person uh, on a regular basis, some mixture of remote learning um, for some students who are, you know, particularly vulnerable to this virus, maybe never coming into school. That's true for staff as well. And so um, I think at best, we're looking at smaller groups of people. Um, we're looking at a combination of remote. We're looking at uh, different ways of earning promotion that are around competency. Um, and again, these are all just ideas. Who knows what's actually going to happen? Um, I think the likelihood of opening looking like what you thought it might look like three months ago um, are, are just not good anymore. So uh, how do you plan for that? And how do you do that in, in, a, in an environment where the dollars we were promised that we were owed, frankly, for our populations aren't coming through, where it's likely we're not going to see increases in tuition for people where it's likely that the philanthropic community is also down, that giving is going to be down. Um, how do you then have smaller classrooms with more educators in, the, with, in an environment where there's literally less money, billions and billions of dollars less in the coffers of the state? I am not sure how to do that, but I, am, I have a lot of faith in the brilliance of our team um, and the great colleagues and minds across the city. And so we're going to figure it out. We don't have a choice. Our, our children deserve us figuring it out.